all right hey everybody welcome back to the channel I'm Greg here and wow look at that 43 minutes we've been going on M81 and M82 and it is just over first quarter moon and I thought I would go ahead and check out some of the new options here with the new firmware which I haven't really seen before so especially this denoising I don't know how long it's been around I haven't been able to get out here for uh, several months to image with the sea star because the weather has not cooperated it's been uh, cloudy or yeah recently it's been cl cloudy before that it was just simply way too cold but uh, you know then the last couple months it has been all clouds today is one of the rare clear uh, nights but I just wanted to check out the denoise and then the adjust up there I wanted to check out and mark let's check out mark this is something that's been around with the C-Star firmware for a while just marks the targets denoise that looks kind of cool let's go check that out normally what I have done is uh, taken a screenshot and just uh, slightly modify the uh, the JPEG image to get rid of the noise and that uh, I guess looks pretty cool Let's see here so this is the brightness is that bright oh yeah look at that Well, that's way blown out. Let's reset. Let's check out the contrast. Yeah, actually, you do see a lot of pictures that kind of look like this after they've been processed, I've noticed. So, apparently, you need to move your contrast down a little bit or do a little bit better uh, job of stretching yeah I don't uh, really know that I like that let's go to saturation I don't think much is going to happen here on the saturation Yeah, if you don't have Photoshop at home, this is probably okay to go ahead and use this. Wow, okay. What is uh, at home? Oh, going to download. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Oh, look at that. Um, so it goes and makes a separate image that you can download. It doesn't modify your basic integration here so that's kind of cool so let's go ahead and uh, do that then yeah i'm just going to go ahead and uh, save that i guess i guess uh download yeah okay image saved we'll see what kind of an image that is Go back to the integration. We've been going for 45 minutes. All right, so here's something that I notice is new. This looks like uh, storage, 90%. Cool. All right, anything here? Uh, deep Sky Stack, I guess. Plan. Oh, what's the plan? Create a plan. No, I don't want to create a plan. That's uh, something that the Sea Star has, or not Sea Star, the ASI Air has and uh, I don't really use that I just do live images huh. okay, so this does look a lot like the ASI air where they have the current position and star focus default that's interesting anti do we got that turned off volume I've got that on low image watermark yeah as I do that advanced features check out what the level looks like I did check this before I started ah okay image enhancing not available the uh, level was 0.6 so that was pretty good mount yeah I'm in alt as mode I may try a uh, polar alignment 
in the future I did get one of these uh, 3D printed um, wedges that I can mount the uh, C-Star on, but I've noticed that it will not really work very well on the default tripod because the thing wants to tip over and it's just not the the thumb screw on there or the hand crank that screws the um, C-Star to the wedge just really isn't very um, it's not good enough is what I'm trying to say so uh, won't use that if I do alt as at all it will probably be with my Manfrotto uh, tripod all right we're going on 46 minutes very cool and uh, yeah uh, stay by and check out the rest of the video and you can see how the image progresses clear skies everybody